For God so loved the world that he gave and he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him would never perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. And when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son into the world made of a woman, made under the law that he might redeem us. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him there is life. and That life is the light of men. The light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. And that word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We have come here on this Christmas morning to celebrate the birth of our Lord. It has been said that this is the greatest story ever told, and truly it is. The poet has put it this way. I wonder how it would have been to have been on earth that night, to have heard the angels praising God and seen that brilliant light to have followed it to Bethlehem, would I have thought it odd to have knelt before that newborn child and whispered, this is God. And this is the way it was. Listen to it very closely. Right out of the book, of God. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was this way. When as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make a public example out of her, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought about these things, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all of this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had told him, and took unto him his wife, 
Mary. And he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came into her and said, Mary, you are highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying. And she thought in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive and bring forth a son and call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how shall this thing be, seeing that I've never known a man? And the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, that Holy One who shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is a sixth month with her, and she was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, Listen to that. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. And then the angel departed. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste, into the city of Judea and entered into the house of Zechariah and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped within her, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said to Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord would come in unto me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ear, the baby leaped within my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which was told her from the Lord. And Mary said, Behold, my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone to his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, into the city of David, 
which is called Bethlehem, and he went there to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, who was great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And Mary brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, the clothes of a little baby, nothing more than rags. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I feel sometimes like Moses when he stood before the presence of God in that burning bush. And God said, take off the shoes from off your feet for the ground you're standing on is holy ground. Listen to this verse again. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were afraid. And the angel said, Do not be afraid, fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You'll find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said one to the other, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger and when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them. And all they that heard them wondered about those things which were they had been told by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned and they glorified and praised God for all the things they had seen and heard. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, they came, or there came, wise men from Jerusalem saying, where is he? that is born king of the Jews. For we've seen his star in the east and we've come to worship. 
And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered the chief priests and the, and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said to Herod, He'll be born in Bethlehem of Judea, for th thus it is written by the prophets. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, he inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search for the young child, and when you found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw Jesus with his mother Mary and they fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And when they were warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they reported or departed into their own country another way. And when they departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream saying, Joseph, arise and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt and be there until I bring thee word again. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, Joseph took the young child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt. And he stayed there until the death of Herod. Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard the greatest story that has ever been told. The story of the birth of our Lord. How can any of us hear this and remain the same? Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for what we have seen and heard this morning, for every song that has been sung, for every prayer that has been prayed, for every word that has been read. Thank you, Father, that Jesus Christ came into the world to bring salvation to our souls, to establish what we have been a part of here this morning, the church of our blessed Lord. Thank you, Father, for the preachers who lead us 
for Tim and Dan. We thank you, dear God, that we have a fellowship the likes of which has never been known to mankind. Thank you that we can wear the name Christian. And we pray that we would always wear that name with dignity, honor, and respect. We ask it for his dear name's sake. Amen.